like to perform during the trainings is to go with the real articles, right? With the original articles from the authors. So the common correlation effects is presented with an article of Pesserand from 2006, right? It was published in the Journal of Econometric. So the name of the article is called Estimation and Inference in Large Heterogeneous Panels with Multifold Error Structure. So what is the idea of this paper? The idea is to present a new approach to the estimation and inference of the panel data, which has as a special characteristics the general multifactor error structure. I will present the idea of multifactor error structure across the development of this topic. But keep in mind that is this error structure is pretty correlated to the unobserved factors that are correlated with the individual specific characteristics, right? In the regression context, we're working with the individual specific characteristics in the error, all right? So the original paper is based on a stationary process, all right? So we're not working with dynamics here. We're not working with the dynamic common correlation effects, no. No, we're just working with the common correlation, all right? So that is the stationary process as the characteristics. So in this, in this framework selection, it would refer to the situation where the dependent variable is integrated of order zero. Yes, it means it don't have any integration order. It means it doesn't have any unit root, all right? So among this paper, Pesaran considers two types of factors. One factor, the unobserved factors, and the observed factors, yes, which is pretty similar to the concept of fixed effects. So the idea in this case is that we can filter the regressors associated to the exogenous variables by using the means of the cross-section average. So this is giving you an idea of how we deal with the common correlation effects. We deal with them with the cross-section average, all right? So every time that everyone tells you about the common correlation effects in econometrics, you usually know that the solution is related to the use of cross-section average. So in this kind of analysis, the asymptotic theory is just relying when the number of cross section is going to infinity. Yes, as you might know, the asymptotic theory covers two possible options. When the number of cross sections goes to infinity and when the number of time periods goes to infinity. Yes, so he is basically telling us that it only works when the number of cross sections goes to infinity. So there might be some differential effects related to the unobserved factors, and they are eliminated by using the cross-section average. So this estimation can be used by the ordinary list of squares. Yes, that's the basic technique. And then he presents the common correlated effects estimator, right? And then on the last part of the, of the article, he he does some experiments, some Monte Carlo experiments, showing the consistency of the estimator, all right? So, without skipping just this topic, I want to go to this part, all right? The multifactor residual model. So if there's any question, please do ask, all right? All right.